Hello friends, welcome to Avi's blog. So today I'll be discussing with you the most common, most easiest way to come to United States. Uh, yes, there is no money you can expend and there is no fees apart from the USCIS government fees. But obviously today I'll be discussing with you apart from the study, visit or work visa, what is the most common factor, what is the most common way to get an American green card. I'll be discussing with you today. So watch out the entire process and what are the documents you need to satisfy that process okay so we know the most common matter to get a American citizenship or to get a American green card or to come to United States is to marry so if you marry someone if the person is a green card holder or the United citizenship you'll be getting a green card to come to this country or later on you'll be getting the United States uh, citizenship so see the when you marry someone then automatically by the time you can come to this country and process has lots of complex because if you marry someone just for the green card getting purpose I would say do not do that do not marry someone just for to be in United States or to stay to this country or to be a United citizen do not do that because USCIS can easily know your intention and they can easily uh, pick point uh, they can mark it out that this is fraud do not do that and my vlog not gonna support you at all my blog is for the legal immigration if your intention is correct then only you can be this country's green card or permanent citizen but even after getting married you have to prove that you did not did anything wrong you are really marry someone for the love purpose not to be the United citizenship purpose so to do that you have to prove yourself for a lots of document let's see example you are currently in Bangladesh India Philippine Nepal China or any other country and you marry someone in the United States right so what is the process is you will be getting a permanent residency temporary card when you are coming to this country yes you will be getting that after getting a marriage let's see your spouse went to your country and marry you so your spouse who is united citizen united states citizen or green card holder they went to all the way to india or bangladesh to just to marry you then you will be filing for uscis petition and you will be flying over to united states the process takes around six to eight months maximum if you are uh, a wife or husband of a united states citizen then the process will be even quicker but uh, if your spouse is the green card holder the process is little longer but regardless you will be getting a green card temporary green card which is two years old or two years validation two years validity now after two years you will be asked to um, uh, be in the interview so that they can remove the temporary green card and they can remove the condition to stay this country and you'll be getting the full 10 years green card but to do that you have to uh, give lots of document on there today's blog I'll be discussing with you what are the documents you have to prepare after you marries you uh, marry a United citizen or green card and stay in this country so on the two years time you have to prove little uh, more document so that USCIS can give you a full 10 years green card so number one okay I can tell the document is the tax return so after you come to this country you and your uh, United States citizen or the your sponsor person your sponsoring husband or wife should have filed the tax return every year 
jointly married feeling jointly that is the option you have to choose if you choose to file uh, tax return separately i do not uh, recommend that i recommend you to file for the married joint of uh, 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 tax return every year till you get the uh, green card or even your lifetime who cares this is your husband who you love and this is the person who you should be filing for tax return every year right so the first document i can tell you the tax document okay number two second document is about your residency where do you live if you have a mortgage you might be buying you might bought a home or maybe you are renting the apartment your mortgage your uh, mortgage or your renting document lease document should have both the people's name your husband's name and your name should be there otherwise uscis will have the suspect that you are not uh, staying together you live in one place and your husband live in another place is not something good so if you have a lease that your name is not there do the amendment lease and make sure when you are submitted uh, you are submitting the document to the uscis you put that document where you and your husband's name are there either for the home purchasing document or your leasing document that should be clear about the residency to prove okay number three document is your wealth means you have let's see you have money in your bank account and you are bank with uh, let's see chase bank or bank of america or any other bank but you should be having the joint account where you both are operating that account jointly so that uscis will see that you are maintaining your fund correctly you have no intention to, uh, uh, to separate and the stuffs even they can see that your marriage is legal because you both are having the same account in the bank or even you should have the credit card jointly you might have a different credit score you, your husband might have a different credit score but you should have some of the credit card what is saying in the one account right so that is a number three uh, document i can tell you regarding your wealth wealth management okay number four document is about the insurance let's say you have a health insurance and you have a health insurance from your employer or even you have a health insurance from the marketplace whatever it is you should both have the same policy and should have the same insurance together health insurance i'm talking about it can be the health insurance the dental insurance it can be the uh, the eye insurance anything but insurance should be together number five document i can tell you regarding the uh, life insurance policy so let's see your husband married you and you came from india okay then your husband may not put you as a beneficiary because the life insurance started earlier but after marriage your husband should have put beneficiary's name to you as a wife name or the vice versa if you bring your husband from overseas bangladesh your husband should be the beneficiary if something happen in your life so the life insurance policy should be number five and that document should be together wherever you are getting a beneficiary and the stuff you should have that particular document uh, in hand number six you should have the picture i'm telling like you should have like people say i have tons of picture i can tell you do not need tons of picture but you need some picture like in summer uh you have a different hairstyle so be with your uh wife so this kinds of document this kinds of picture later on you might say okay i have a picture in winter i have a picture in summer i have a picture with my wife's um uh family you ha i have a picture with uh my family with my wife so all kinds of sort of thing you should have different types of picture where it is saying 
like two years ago you went to the Eiffel Tower that picture you have where you have your wife is there and also when you are meeting your family your wife is there so those kinds of thing and also mark down like this is my mom this is my sister this is my brother those kinds of thing put it there so that USCIS uh, the officer can easily understand like wherever you go you bring your wife whatever you do you have the wife because uh, in your life cycle wife is the permanent or husband is the permanent whatever you do you do together so you should have tons of picture on there in the different types of phases number seven is the social media who does not know about the social media is very common about the social media nowadays so how the social media impact on your uh, marriage based green card is that let's say you marries uh, you got a marriage on 2021 right but your Facebook account is saying you are single which is not good I can tell you my friend which is not good you should have a marriage and should mention your wife name in the social media let's say your wife is not in the social media then you cannot mention but you should not have some a different thought let's say you are single or you have tons of picture with some other girls and you are hugging them this kind of thing should not because these kinds of social media stuff can penalize you I can tell you my friend so do whatever you are doing I know that is your uh, lifestyle you cannot change but obviously when the officer gonna be seeing that you are a married person and whatever social media you have or your wife has you have everywhere your wife going or you are married together this kind of thing is very important my friend so be careful about the social media what you are doing let's say you are chatting with somebody or you are calling someone or you are mentioning somebody's name on there make sure your wife is your main priority so that your uh, wife's uh, green card should be the permanent and the person who's going to be getting 10 years uh, green card number eight i can tell about the different kinds of like the cards let's see we go we get a gas card or we get we go to the restaurant we go together the name should not be there i know but the things like you make a habit like wherever you go to uh, visit and the stuff your wife or your husband you go together let's say you, you went to 2020 um, to, you went to New York right and you have a hotel booking right you should have a hotel booking for both the people's name if you have a gas card if you have it any kinds of receipt you should be having your wife's name on there so that officer will have no suspect about your intention and the stuff so married based fraud is very common in this country i do not want somebody uh, just marry someone just to be citizen in united states be real i recommend uh, the marriage is the most common matter mo most common factor and most easiest way to come to this country but do not just marry someone against your will against your life or against your thought process so that you will be getting united states citizen do not citizenship do not do that just do the real thing do not lie to the officer or do not hide anything if you have any intention talk to uh, the lawyer before the attorney before and make it settle down so that the person you are sponsoring as a husband or wife gonna be getting the full 10 years green card right and later on if your husband or wife wants to be a United States citizen the person can easily be because your marriage was legal there is no illegal thing you are doing so do not do any illegal thing just be with my blog every day to day basis I create very important blog so that gonna make your life better and I can tell you if you follow my channel every day to day basis you will uh, get a lots of updates how to stay this country legally and your lifestyle i can tell you gonna be very good 
and you are not doing anything wrong on your journey okay thanks a lot for watching my channel today and if you like please subscribe and uh, put a thumbs up bye bye god bless america